Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Customs. This is my latest custom of one wound made from a damaged uh, soul fire grace. Basically, what I did is I took off a lot of the armor. So as you can see, there's all armor that was around here, up in here, up on here, even in her legs. Took all that down. Um, this leg is actually glued into this statue, so that was able to come out when I stripped down the statue. And basically, I sanded it all down. And I got the basic form I wanted, uh, chopped up the hair, of course, uh, some of the back part of it, and re-sculpted the hair, put up the thing on her forehead, sculpted in the armor, the outfit. Um, since there's no stars on her, basically I wanted this to be a different type of Wonder Woman than typical throwing a blue uh, a bottom on her and throwing stars. Uh, I just wanted just to take it off and just see how it would look, and I kind of liked the way it turned out. So basically, everything is done in alclad chrome, the bracelets and her two armor pieces, her forehead and the side piece over here. Um, for all these pieces up in here, it's cleared with Tamaya yellow uh, clear. And then I, uh, you know, sealed all those. And then from there, I went into the skin tones, did all her skin tones with garage kit colors. Uh, and then after that, I pretty much did her red and her blue. Red is just basically, you know, I ch it's a little bit shiny, but what I wanted to do is give it like a shiny leathery type look. Um, so I added a little black into the Tamaya red, and it gives that, that almost like nice sheen uh, leather, which I kind of like for her. I didn't want to go too crazy with the red and making it metallics or pearls and stuff. I wanted to keep it a little bit simple because I wanted the armor to jump out more than the outfit. And then uh, as for the bottom, I had a little bit of fun with this. It's a Createx Pearl Blue. And then what I did is I blended into Createx Pearl White. So I kind of wanted to give her that, you know, elegant dress look, but still give her the colors of Wonder Woman. Uh, if you notice for her weapon, uh, it's still the same pole that came with Soulfire Grace, but it had two ends of a weapon. I pulled those off, and what I did is I sculpted it into like a spear type thing. And I just had some fun with the bottom part with it. You know, I just... Didn't go too crazy. It was first time really sculpting a weapon. I used a lot of Avis twisting, turning, and I just had a lot of fun with it. So, and then uh, for her lasso, basically it's just a simple lasso that you can get at a, uh, a Michaels or AC Moore metal, and it's got some texture to it, so it was kind of cool. I figured I could just throw that in her hand. And as for the base, it's just a simple uh, Fox marble that I painted up from scratch. So basically I did the texture, I painted it, I sanded it down, I did some more textures and stuff and I sanded that down, I did some gloss coats. And by doing like, you know, different types of things and all that, you could get like some kind of like a marvelous type look which is kind of cool, it's a little bit of fun. Something I just kind of came up with my own, just messing around. So, as you can see we're getting close, uh, basically, you know, kept her to form, nice blue eyes. Outfit really shines. There is a hint of blue in her hair. Uh, very hard to see in my cameras, but in person you can definitely see it when you get up close. Um, it's all out clad up in here, out clad all around. Um, so she was a lot of fun. A little bit of a take, different take on Wonder Woman, but it was you know something different. Hopefully you guys like the way she turned out. Of course, for the base. Basically, you're hitting it with a sponge. You're doing textures. Um, you know, some airbrush work, some line, fine line work with the uh, water down uh, whites and stuff. And then, after I got that look done, you know, I would clear coat it with a uh, Future Four polish, and then I sand, like wet sand it. But I don't wet sand it to the point where I'm pulling up the paint. I'm just kind of fine sanding it. Let it dry do some more layers and what it is is you start creating little depths and looks and depths and looks and then you get that like fox brawn look to it I mean not brawn, uh, marble <laughs> so many doing fox uh, out there so basically this is my Wonder Woman from uh, Soulfire Grace hopefully you guys like the idea uh, how I went about it um, you know Chrome work is uh, very delicate, it is a pain, but once you can get the system going and you can make it, it really comes out pretty cool. You know, and of course the weapon. Basically the weapon is, um, there's some wooden balls in here that I've uh, that you can buy at a hobby store and I kind of 
glued them onto the thing and then I used Avis and I twisted and I twisted and twisted and then I sanded and you know it gives me the idea that like she can hold it at a certain point of the, the spear and I didn't go too crazy with the point. I didn't really want to focus on the weapon, so I didn't go crazy making a super, you know, detailed, awesome weapon. I kind of wanted to focus, you know, up in here. That's where I wanted the focus to be. And, uh, it was a lot of fun. Came out cool. Uh, you know, got, leave some comments. Hi, guys. You know, what you think about it. If you like the style. If you like how I went about doing it. And there you go. So we'll see you guys uh, next time.